Guten Morgen! It's Sunday, it's marathon day here in Berlin and there's Berlin Cathedral behind us and uh, it's very nice that way as well, it's cool. It's a nice city, it's Berlin, I suggest you get down here anytime if you get the chance, it's fantastic. So yeah, marathon day, uh, we start at quarter past nine, it's about half seven in the morning now and as a little bit of a warm up, we're walking from the hotel to the start line and it's just one main street right the way down to the Brandenburg Gate. How am I feeling? Feeling good, feeling, I won't say confident, but feeling happy about today. Uh, we've done the train, we've done some training. It's a cool morning. The weather's going to be with us. Hopefully the sun doesn't peek through. You know, when you get a bit warm with the sun on you. So hopefully the weather will stay like this, nice and cool, stop you overheating. That'd be fantastic. Um, the goals from today's race, as always, I've set a number of goals. Goal A is to go 3.15, goal B is just to be 3.30, goal C is to beat my time last time I was here in Berlin which was 4 hours 0 minutes and 54 seconds. So as long as I do that it's going to be a personal best on this course. And then obviously goal D is the let's just get around it, let's get it done, let's get it finished. So yeah, looking good, I'm feeling confident, I'll show you a few of the sights and uh, I hope you enjoy watching this video. So, uh, see you again soon.
first mile, 731. Euphoria at the start. But if we can hold that for the rest of the race, should be good. Pretty constant. Mile three, seven and a half minutes. Going up to the 5k. We'll see what comes out in a second. A lot of bunching around the water station and going around corners as you can see from the people here. It all bunches up and you slow down. Still feeling good. Six miles, another pinch point, that's 749. Keep going. 47, 47 minutes 30 seconds on the 10k. It'd be a boost. Six miles, sorry, seven miles. I'm losing count, yeah, seven miles. Did that in a 716. It's always a boost when you see somebody on the tube and you want to even know. Thanks, Vicky. Now to settle back into that cruise. Let's get a rest of this done. Eight miles, 746. Still feeling good. Following the blue line. Mile nine. Mile nine. Seven thirty-six. Right. From now on, for me, it's the slog. So I'll be back with you to give you an update at uh, half distance, and then back at mile twenty. Feeling good though. That's nine done. A few more to go. Yeah. 
Oh, Marathon 140, 120. So we're doing the back half. Still having fun, I think. Sit rep, 17 and a half miles. I'm making, I'm walking. Feels like we're jeffing the rest of the way. Walk for 30 seconds, run, and see how we go. But, uh, just hit the wall probably. About 16, 16 and a half miles in, just energy just gone. So, let's conserve what's left. Let's jeff it in, because at the end of the day, it's finishing lines, not finishing times. We're nearly there. Whilst I'm loving this, thoroughly enjoying it, my right IT band is now causing some issues. It's starting to tighten up. So at uh, just over 18 miles, we will see if I can walk it off a bit. Do some high knees, see if we can stretch it out and then get back running again. But hey, that's marathon running for you. You can do all the preparation in the world. But then on the day, things just happen. But we'll get there. 21 miles, 34 kilometers. I sit and walk in the rest of this marathon. The right IT band is just giving me so much jip. The only if I start running, it just starts hurting. So, uh, DNF's not an option. So, we're just going to walk it in now. Last five and a half miles or something. Five, four, I can't even work it out. But 21 and a half miles, so what's that? Yeah, four and a half miles. We'll walk it in. If this, uh, aching some sides any then we'll do a bit more running at the moment running's not an option so uh, let's walk it home 23 miles it's a world of pain ah it's IT man walk in let the pain subside and do a bit of running until it starts hurting again it's a world of hurt just three miles to go Berlin legend. <laughs> Mile and a half to go. Can somebody stop this ride while I get off? It hurts. Or I've got some cheap cola. Fizzy sugar. We'll be alright for the end now. Four mile and a half.
Jetzt am Ende war es nur noch Eli und Kipchoge bei den Frauen. Rosemarie, Bajiro und am Ende durchgesetzt Tigis Asefa aus Äthiopien mit einer einem neuen Kursrekord 2, 15, 37. Und dieser Mann ist die neue Fabelzeit gelaufen. Er hat es wahr gemacht, was er gesagt hat. Ich werde einen neuen Streckenrekord laufen. Und das hat er getan. Ein neuen Weltrekord. Erneut Elio Kipchoge. 2, 0, 1. Ich glaube 50 Sekunden unter seiner Weltrekordzeit. Am Ende war es dann 30 Sekunden schneller. Da ist das, wie wir es interpretieren, gibt schon gelächelt. Aber er sagt, auch er hat Schmerzen. Es gibt kein Marathon oder Schmerzen. Und dennoch, er lächelt. Er gibt schon sehr schnell angegangen und da auch mal leider die Kunst eingeteilt. Sebastian hier. Well, here we are, day after the marathon, Brandenburg Gate. We've got the medal, and the medal has got a picture of the world record holder, Elliot Kipchoge, on the back. Uh, world record broken yesterday, which was absolutely fantastic. Right. Let's round this video up. How did it go for me? Well, as you can see from the previous footage, it was not the race I wanted to do. I enjoyed it and hated it in equal measure. Let's put it this way. Um, Berlin Marathon, I love you. And I will be back. Absolutely fantastic. The big city, the atmosphere, the support on the course, people shouting your name. All absolutely fantastic. If you get the chance to do this, I would recommend that you uh, come along to Berlin and have a go at the marathon here, it's absolutely fantastic. So for me, up to about 17 miles, cruising nicely, and then it felt like somebody swapped my legs for somebody else's. It just, it just got so heavy. And then the right IT band just stiffened up so much and gave me a pain at the bottom of it, where it meets the knee. And uh, it really was a case of the rest of the run, running until I got the intense pain and then walking to let it subside and then yeah jeffing it basically the rest of the race was just jeffing it um, so hugely disappointed because I think I could possibly have done about a 320 on this race if I carried on at that pace but uh, now we came in at three hours 50 which good news wise was 10 minutes faster than I've run this marathon before so it's a, a track personal best for me so that's good totally enjoyed the day um, apart from the uh, shooting pains in the last seven, eight miles. But uh, having a DNF did not finish was not an option, so even if I walked around, uh, I was going to finish it. And that's what happened, we got over the line. As you can see from the video, it was hurting that much, uh, I even had to stop before I got to the finishing line. Hey, we've done it, we're there, we've completed it, we've got the medal, everything's good. Um, I will be back to try this again. 
So now it's just uh, concentrate on the next one, which is in three weeks in Amsterdam. So we've got to go home now, do a bit of rehab on the leg and see how we go. Um, funny enough, my leg feels fine today. Just the normal doms you have from a, from a big race. But the actual IT band feels fine. So uh, we'll have a see what that's like tomorrow once we've uh, got home. Amsterdam, next. Berlin, we love you, we will be back. Thank you to everybody who came and said hello during the weekend as well. Uh, really appreciate the support from you guys. Until next time.